Gracias. I actually had to leave there because what was actually really difficult to get out of there. Again, he's there and he starts shouting at me. I feel like I'm not the only person in a rush today. Hi guys, good morning, buongiorno. So it's another day here in Rome. Uh, if you're wondering why I look a bit beat up this morning, that's because I did the European Jiu Jitsu Championships yesterday. But we're now on our way to the Vatican to see the Pope because the Pope is going to do a blessing and a speech and everything. Personally, I'm, I'm not a Catholic. My girlfriend is a Catholic and she has brought some items to be blessed. So those items will be turned into blessed items from the Pope's blessing, which uh, yeah, is quite an interesting concept. We're getting pretty close to the Vatican now and up ahead, I can already see quite a big queue forming. Time now is eight o'clock, so still one hour before the whole ceremony with the Pope starts. Yeah, have a look at this queue here. For that. So we're pretty close now to getting in to the Vatican, but there's quite a bit of security here. So it looks like they're doing the sort of airport security style checks where we probably have to take our belt off, and, you know, take our coat off, all those sort of things. And that explains the, the big queues really. I actually had to leave there because I booked a ticket for the Colosseum and it was actually taking a lot longer. Uh, the Pope still hasn't arrived and I realized if I don't leave I'm gonna miss the slot but it was actually really difficult to get out of there so I tried to walk out the exit but there was a man in a suit a grumpy old man kind of blocking the exit and he started shouting nine nine at me and I couldn't go through so I saw another exit which was sort of guarded by police and I spoke to them and they said oh you should try and get out that exit but I said no there's this man there he's, he's not letting anybody go past so then they pointed to another way through, but that way was blocked by the Swiss guard. So I, I tried to go that way, but obviously the Swiss guard didn't let me through that way either. So anyway, I went back and again, he's there saying I can't pass, but I just put my head down and just kept walking. And he started shouting at me, but he couldn't stop me. He didn't, didn't stop me anyway. So I just kept going and now I'm pretty much out. Yeah, so much security, so many uh, different police, different guards, and to be honest, I felt a little bit trapped there, like, <laughs> couldn't go out any of the exits. Um, like I say, I need to get to the Colosseum. So it doesn't seem like Rome wants me to get to the Colosseum today. They tried to stop me leaving the Vatskirt and now there's a running race going on. I think I'm going to have to try and just run through these runners. I can't see any other way. I'm trying to get to the Colosseum quite quickly. About the same time to do it on foot or by bus. But it seems like a lot of the roads are shut at the moment. I think partly because of the run which is going on, I guess. Time is not on my side and uh, seems like Rome isn't on my side at the moment, but let's hope we get to the Colosseum by foot in time. So yeah, it's pretty much in a straight line. So 
Hopefully I don't get lost. I feel like I'm not the only person in a rush today. So I can see the Colosseum now at the end of the street. Just there in the distance. And maybe I should have just joined the run for the whole way because it looks like the run is going straight to the Colosseum. So I've made it to the Colosseum, got here on time. Let's look at this up ahead. I'm just trying to find a good view from here because there's so many people that's actually quite hard to get to the front and see the whole arena. I'll dress in something very bright tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, here we are. Just visited the Colosseum, it was pretty amazing. Sun's out, a bit of opera going on. Guys, right, so I'm here at the Trevi Fountain. And it's kind of shut, but there's still a lot of people about. There's no water in it because all the fountains in Rome are getting renovated, but pretty cool. Much bigger than I expected, to be honest. And if it's this busy when there's no water in, imagine how busy it must be when there's water in it. So we're now at the Spanish Steps. Go. I'm almost at the top of these Spanish steps and you get a pretty cool view from up here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And check out my next video of me doing a plein air painting on the historic Ponte Sisto in Rome.